Okay, welcome back. Uh, what we're going to now do, we're going to learn how to make a regular polygon that I call uh, is going to be hypnotic. I believe uh, you already watched the hypnotic square version of this. So I'm going to do uh, one more uh, with you. Let's do a hypnotic regular hexagon. Uh, and it will give you some idea how to complete the rest of this chart. We're going to create uh, tools for each of these. Uh, but let me, uh, first of all, demonstrate what we're trying to create. Let me grab the hypnotic hexagon that we're hoping to create. We're going to create a tool that when you open is going to have a regular hexagon that has been, uh, uh, let's call it hypnotized in this manner. Uh, and the good news is once you have converted this into a tool, uh, what you're able to do is you are able to use it again and again to compose uh, in the following manner, uh, like this one, etc. Okay, so we're going to learn how to do the hypnotic uh, hexagon and you will be able to, with the ideas that you learn here, generate the, le the rest of the polygons. So the idea here is uh, quite simple. It is very similar to the uh, tessellation uh, work that we have done. Uh, what we're going to create is we're going to create a segment. Uh, and the first thing I want to make sure we uh, have out of the way is we must learn how to uh, partition the segment into a tent. So remember that's a dilation. So the way we do that is you double click on an endpoint. Let's select the right endpoint. And then you select the other endpoint. Go to transform dilate. Uh, the ratio by default is a half. Make it one cent. And once this has been created, let us cre select everything and create a tool by going to the custom tool uh, option. Create new tool. Let's call it one over ten dilation. You will see why this will be helpful in a second. Okay? And always a good idea to test your tool when you go from left to right it opens into a tent of the original segment. Now I'm going to delete these. I don't need them anymore. I'll use them in a second. So first we're going to create our regular uh, hexagon. You should remember this from an earlier uh, video. Uh, so what we do is we uh, are going to create a side, remember we we're going from left to right, and we're going to double click on the left end point, select everything. Uh, double clicking, by the way, of the end point declares that as a center rotation. Now you select everything, go to transform, rotate. Now you're going to need this chart. For every different polygon, you're going to need to refer to the chart that you had before. For hexagon, we remember that the interior angle is 120 degrees. So we have created here a corner. Now we're going to continue this process until we have the entire hexagon. So select the segment, select the end point here. But remember this time the center rotation is this point. Select the segment, the other end point, transform, rotate by again 120. Keep doing this, double click. Uh, select the endpoint segment and you're going to do this a number of times. Uh, when you get to the last part, uh, I recommend, as you'll see, that we just use the regular good old segment tool to close it off. Okay? Uh, make sure you test it. Everything should be fine. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create our tenth dilation tool. I go from left to right, and I, I'm going to do that again, left to right. So what we are in effect doing is we are creating here within the body of the uh, polygon a smaller version of it, as you will see. Okay? So in theory now, I could construct here uh, a... I'm not going to do that, but I could have constructed here a, a smaller polygon, which is going to have now this as a side, that as a side. It would have continued like that. Okay? But I'm not going to do that. So what we're going to do is do an iteration. So remember how iteration works. You select the ancestors of your construction. 
I'm going to select this left point, this right point. Transform iteration option wakes up. Now it's going to ask you what is the new left. This is the new left. This is the new right. You can already see uh, what is happening. Uh, what I recommend is uh, you're going to increase the iteration. It is the plus sign. So just continue until this closes off. But you're going to notice there's way too many objects there. So I'm going to go to structure and I want to see only the none point images. It will make the image crisper. Uh, and I'm going to continue. So go to display, increase iteration or just plus sign. That means shift plus. Uh, when it closes, I'm going to just say this is fine. Let's do it maybe 90 to be even. Okay. And uh, at this point, this point and that point, we don't need to see anymore. So I'm going to hide them. Uh, you could decide all kinds of things here. I personally don't like uh, the lines to be so thick. So I'm going to make it thinner. Uh, and you could decide whether you like the, uh, the points to be smaller or not. But once you like it, you select everything, go to your custom tool, create new tool. I'm going to call this hypnotic uh, hexagon. Okay? And the beauty of this is now that it is a tool, you can uh, apply it to existing objects uh, and uh, have a good time with it. So let me just uh, move these here. And you could imagine how you can actually tile the entire space using this tool because now it is not only a regular hexagon but it is also a hexagon with uh, that hypnotic structure in it so you can see how it is possible to so it's possible to tile the entire plane using these hypnotic uh, regular hexagons Alrighty, I hope you had a good time and this should give you some ideas how to continue uh, with the rest of this table. So how to create a regular triangle, hypnotize it, square, pentagon, hexagon we just did together. Uh, and uh, eventually it will be helpful for you to remember that uh, we had already uh, seen uh, how to do uh, not only regular tessellations, which would lead to these type of uh, uh, interesting shapes where you are using only triangles, only squares, etc., only hexagons, but you could get really bold and explore semi-regular tessellations where you are mixing and matching them, an octagon together with a square, an octagon together with a square. For example, here you have a uh, hexagon with triangles. Here you have a hexagon, uh, let me show you here, uh, with bunch of triangles, etc. Okay, so you could go through the entire list of semi-regular tessellations and create some uh, really exciting uh, shapes. Um, to conclude, uh, I will leave it as an exercise for you to figure out how to now turn all these interesting constructs you have created and create an animation that uh, sort of uh, creates this hypnotic effect. And if you are really, really bold, and if you know, I'm just going to quickly uh, show you, if you know GarageBand, you can create in GarageBand uh, uh, your own uh, piece of music. So let me uh, just uh, show you here. Here we have something called the Solo Star. Uh, here you have some music that you create. Just I'm not an expert, but randomly sort of playing things. And while this is playing, you could imagine superimposing the music on the artwork you have created. It could be a background to a choreography or a concert piece. 
Alrighty, I hope you had a good time. Uh, enjoy. And let me know the interesting things that you discover. Take care.